Hello, are you ready to make some zucchini fries? I got myself a zucchini here and I'm gonna cut it up. The way that you do this to get your fries pretty consistent in size, cut down the middle, then cut down the length, then cut down the length again, and then one more time. They're all gonna be about the same size, and that's what you want. This is probably half the job of making crunchy zucchini fries in your air fryer. So you take these pieces of zucchini. Did you know this is high in vitamin C and vitamin A? It has soluble and insoluble fiber, both of them. The fiber that's gel-like and the fiber that flows out of our body in our excrement. Yes, we get both with zucchini and it's zucchini season. So I've cut my zucchini and I'm going to soak them. And I'm gonna put a little bit of kosher salt in it. And I'm gonna let these soak for a while. Otherwise, all that water in the zucchini is not going to allow me to get crunchy outside, even in the air fryer. Now, here's a little something. If you don't want to do that, you can cut the seeds off. I've done that too. Now you're not gonna get as much soluble fiber, but you can cut those seeds off and then you can skip by the step of letting them soak. So we're gonna let these soak for a while because I already have some here that have been soaked and we're gonna be using those. So how do I do this? Well, I take one cup, one cup of almond flour. Actually, it's gonna be five tablespoons. And I put that in a pan and I'm going to, look at this, I'm gonna brown almond flour. I think this is really incredible. I hope you like it, I really love it. And so you brown your um, almond flour and to that you add any spices that you want. This is your chance to put those spices in that you want. A little cayenne pepper's great, though it does hurt my stomach a little bit. Then we could add a little bit of Italian seasoning. I highly recommend that. Of course, some salt and pepper. You really need salt and pepper in these zucchini fries because the almond flour really doesn't have that much taste. Okay, question, how many carbs is this? Answer, 10. This is 10 grams of carbs right here. So if my husband and I split this and we use it all, that's only five carbs. That's the reason you want to, if you, use almond flour and do what I'm doing. It really cuts the carbs. So the next thing you're gonna do is take some egg white. You could use a whole egg and you would just put a couple whole eggs in this bowl, in this dish, or you could use egg whites. They're both perfect for me. And what you're gonna do is dip. You're gonna dip these in the wash, in the breading, back to the wash, and you're going to put them in your air fryer. I'm going to grab a plate. So I'm just going to grab my air fryer basket and we'll just put them in that. So how do we do these? We take the pieces and we put them in the egg wash. We put them in the browned almond flour. Now, if you want to get a little extra crunchy, you can dip it again. You can dip the skin side. You want to get it as brown, as much covered as you can. And there it is, number one. I'll just do a few of these. So, you're going to egg wash it. You're going to cover it in almond flour. 
I like to redo a little bit and, re and recover it. And on the, and, uh, okay, you, I don't need to do all of these, but I'm gonna be doing all of these. So let me just put those in here and wash my hands. This is so easy. And I'm going to move this and finish this up later. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is take some out of the air fryer. Here we go. I just did a few of them. I put them in the air fryer and I fried them for seven minutes. I went at 370 degrees. A lot of times you can go all the way up to 450. Here's a few of them. I'm going to have a lot more in just a little bit of time. And if you want to make a delicious dip to go with them, like I did, you simply take one cup of Greek yogurt and whip it around until it looks like this. Add a little stevia and add just a little bit of lemon zest. I don't add the lemon, I just add the zest. Mm, delicious. Add a little bit of zest. It's amazing how lemony it will taste. And I'm going to fill up a little cup because I'm ready to serve one serving of air fries. Delicious air fries to myself. And I, why don't I add some Parmesan cheese. Just put some of that on. Yummy, yummy. The, just, the actual recipe will be in the description below. Air fry, a little dip. Mmm, fabulous. And low carb. Bye-bye.